Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo. There you are. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. You are the Hermit in the Major Arcana. This will be from the 25th of April to the 1st of May 2022. And the reading won't be for everyone. Just take what resonates with you as always. Let's see what message we have. Okay. We have the Empress. With that, we have the Ten of Cups. Temperance. Six of Pentacles. The Sun. Wow. Knight of Swords, Six of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. It feels this energy of new beginnings, and it feels this energy of new abundant beginnings here, Virgo. We have the Empress, which can be the birth of something new. She's a really good, abundant energy. The beginnings of new abundance. She doesn't feel lack. She feels bounty. Um, this is somebody who is all about creating a new reality for yourself. She does link with new beginnings. Very good in money areas, love areas. She also represents pregnancy as well. So it might well be for some of you, those factors can be figuring in this energy. Could also be linked with an empress. You might be associated with an empowered female this week. Or a mother figure. She is the mother of tarot. It's like you're waiting for happiness. These cards alone, um, Ten of Cups is in the challenge position. Can be to do with the home, the family, the relationship. Um, it's generally the happy ever after card. It doesn't necessarily mean it's rainbows and but butterflies all the time, but it's feeling that everything is just enough there's satisfaction there's contentment in love uh, emotionally contented and fulfilled on every level with the sun energy this is a card of good news celebration joy happiness it is a card of success as well uh, real positive light energy with the sun both of these are in the challenge position which means that you might be waiting for light to be shed on a situation in a positive, happy way. But it does feel like it's coming because really when the sun comes, <laughs> certainly with the Empress, it just feels good news. Now again, it could be the areas that I've already described with the Empress. Good news, celebration, joy, real happiness and liberating from any negativity that's gone before would be the energy here if it's in the challenge position, which it is. It feels like you're patient. There's patience here. The temperance energy is patience. Um, everything in moderation. And things may be moving in a, in, a, in a moderate way, but it does represent balance. It does represent certainly the opportunity for balance to be restored on some level. This Knight of Swords is news. It feels like communication, news, information you're waiting on uh, that does bring change and clarity here. So there's certainly an indication from Spirit saying there is patience that's been needed. 
But there is, it feels like positive news coming your way, positive communication. That will bring the clarity that you're seeking, that will shed light on the situation, but patience has been needed here. And we do have this Six of Wands claiming a victory over what has been a challenge. Now this does represent obstacles, this does represent there was something that you really needed to overcome and it took strength and courage to overcome it but this is now winning, it's the victory, it's being recognised, it's being noticed. Um, can be about public recognition as well on some level. It It feels like you're getting that victory wreath here. It's a significant achievement. And it is over challenge. We have the six of pentacles. This is someone reaching out, offering you something. The six of pentacles can be a monetary thing. Now, this can be sometimes um, a windfall energy. So it can be linked with legal situation well a windfall energy or a sum of money or assets or property or business driven I mean you kind of get what I'm saying but somebody offering you something so this could be in terms of job offers business opportunities also can be in terms of a sum of money like like I said asset driven energy uh, property I mean again whatever this is but it feels in this energy someone reaching out offering you something of material value that is connected to a victory on some level. I mean, you know, this could be a, a legal thing. This could be a, a work, business, career thing. But it certainly feels like there's, there's a significant, it's almost like a victory parade. We have the Knight of Wands here. So the Knight of Wands can just be a fast energy. After waiting and some kind of waiting energy this can also be a green light energy of go 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 all systems go things moving fast so in this energy you might just get the news that you've been waiting for uh, that is linked to this kind of like new beginning or new abundant beginning uh, so it might well be coming in fast here Virgo um, this can also be linked the knight of wands it can be linked to an exciting opportunity uh, that brings significant change that is connected to your victory, your significant achievement, your win. Um, so take it as it resonates for you, but the cards look really beautiful. I mean, all of these cards are very positive and it just feels like you've just been waiting for something to happen. You've been waiting for the clarity, you've been waiting for direction, you've been waiting for news. And then it, it just seems to come in quite fast, almost kind of like a blaze of glory. <laughs> um, but it is that kind of energy here. Of it's, it's linked with a success, a victory, a win. And it's monetary. It's, it's monetary driven. I love the energy of this because it's a sign that you don't feel lack anymore. Um, this is a new beginning where you feel that abundance. Yeah. Lovely energy, Virgo. Okay, final message for Virgo. Final message for Virgo, thank you. We have Peacock Self-Love. Time to celebrate you and all your magnificent light. Yeah, I just feel that you're waiting for this light to come in, this positive energy to come in that affects you, your home, your family, your relationship. Bottom of the deck, we have Leafcutter Ant, Army of Life. Ask for help, seek support, you are not alone.
That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.